Hello. Welcome to Math Guide Mvula DK Tutorials. In this video, we want to look at how we can work out the solutions for the GCE 2021 Mathematics Paper 2. Particularly, we want to look at the O of question 1, which has got three parts. There is part A, part B, and part C. So, let's consider the question in A. So, question A is saying simplify the given expression, which of course is in form of a fraction as we can see. So, how can we simplify this given algebraic expression? I've rewritten it here and uh, for us to get the solution to this question, we need to understand that the numerator of this expression is a difference of two squares. This numerator part is a difference of two squares. And because of that, what we need to do is we are going to expand this very part. And when we do the expansion, we are going to get AX minus BY. We can put it in the brackets. And AX plus BY. That is just for the numerator part. And of course, everything should be divided by AX plus BY, which is the denominator given in the question. And when we try to compare what we have in the numerator and the denominator part, we can see that we have these two parts, which are similar and because of that we need to divide it means they can divide so this part here and the bottom part which is the denominator can divide into each other and we are going to have a one up there and a one down here so this is now going to give us a x which is this part minus b y that is what we are going to remain with, being divided by 1, which was left under the denominator. So when we divide 1 into the numerator, we are going to get AX minus BY. And can we simplify any further? No, we cannot. So there ends our simplification for part A of question 1. Okay, we need to look at the other part, which is part B. And in part B, part B, we have been given the geometric progression, abbreviated as GP, with elements 4, 2, 1, like that. And number 1, Roman numeral number one of part B is asking us to find the seventh term, okay? So how can we find the seventh term of the given geometric progression? So again, this is very simple. So all you need to do for the solution is to identify the formula which you can use. So the formula is simple and it is given by Tn. So this is the nth term of the geometric progression formula. So Tn equals A R N minus 1. So this is the formula that we can use to find the nth term of the geometric progression. So from the information that we have, the data is that our A, which is the first term, is equal to 4. And our N, as in the question, our N will be the seventh term. So our N is equal to 7. And our R can be found by dividing the second term over the first term. So R we should understand that this error is for the common ratio. So the common ratio 
will simply be we get our second term our second term is 2 divided by our t1 which is the first term 4 this is going to simplify to 1 over 2 so this is our r okay what next so the next step is just for us to substitute in the formula so our t7 will be equal to we replace where there is a we shall now put 4 and where there is r we shall put 1 over 2 for n our n is 7 so it will be 7 minus 1 so our t7 is equal to 4 in the brackets the 1 over 2 is the same as 0 0.5 if we want to put it like that then 7 minus 1 is going to give us 6 so our term number 7 is going to be 4 and this 4 is going to multiply the 0 0.5 power 6 so 0 0.5 power 6 will give us 0 0.0 1, 5, 6, 2, 5. You can check that with your calculators. Okay, and when we multiply 4 by everything which is inside, our terms number 7 is going to be 0 0.0625. So this is our seventh term of the geometric progression as given in the question. And you can agree with me looking at the terms that we have, there is a reduction of the, the, the numbers are reducing. We have 4, 2, 1, and you can guess to say the next numbers will be reducing. And if we can add up to the seventh term, of course, we are supposed to get 0 0.0675. So that is for part B1. We can quickly go to B2. B2 is asking us to find the sum okay so b2 is asking us to find the sum okay sum of the first nine terms the sum of the first nine terms so how can we find the sum of the first nine terms okay again you do not have to worry yourself Finding the sum of the first four terms uh, can be done in this manner. So, again, we are going to employ this formula for sum of n terms of the GP. So, the formula is given by A, open bracket, 1 minus R, power N, close bracket, divided by 1 minus R. So, we use this formula when the value of R is less than 1. Alternatively, we can use this formula, which is the same as this one. Sum of n is equal to a, open brackets, r power n minus 1, close brackets, divided by r minus 1. And again, sorry, you were not able to see that formula. So this is the formula which I was just explaining. You can alternatively use this formula. And this one is now more suitable when the value of R is greater than 1. So looking at what we have, our R is simply 1 over 2, which is, of course, uh, less than 1. So in our case, we shall use this formula here. So we know the value of A, we know the value of R, the value of N which is 9 in this case and our n is also sorry our our r is the same as in what we we found in the first place so the sum of nine terms will be equal to so it's just a matter of us now uh, replacing for a we are going to put 4 then 1 minus our R is half, which of course is going to be to the power 9 in brackets, divided by 1 minus 1 over 2. 
hope we are moving together so that is what we are going to have and our sum of nine terms is going to be so we are going to say we have four multiplying in the brackets one minus the one over two is the same as 0 0.5 to the power nine close brackets over one minus one over two will give us half which is simply 0 0.5 if we can put it into that form okay so we can now simplify our sum of nine terms will be equal to four and then one minus 0 0.5 to the power nine is going to give us is going to give us the the value of Okay, so here we can do it directly. We, we understand that when we subtract 1, so from 1 we subtract 0 0.5 to the power 9, we multiply by 4, and then we divide by 0 0.5, uh, the sum of the first 9 terms is going to be 0, sorry, it's going to be 7, point nine eight four three seven five you can confirm that with your calculators and of which we can put into this form the sum of the first nine terms will be equal to seven point nine eight two two decimal places so that is the solution for part two of that is the solution for part two of question question B. Okay, then the last part is asking us to find the so the last part is part C and is asking us to find the geometric geometric mean. Okay. So again this is abbreviated into GM. So how can we find the geometric mean or the average of the numbers given in C? So the numbers that we have are 196 and 15,625. So again, there is a formula that we can use. So geometric mean is given by this formula, the square root of A times B. And we should understand to say our A is equal to the first term because we have two terms here. So our first term is 196 and our B is equal to 15,625. So our geometric mean will be equal to, we need to substitute in the formula. So 196 times 15,625. So geometric mean will be equal to when we multiply the two numbers and then we get the square root, the solution should be 1750. So that is for the last part of question one. So we have answered part A, part B, and part C. And if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, you can simply do so. Subscribe so that you are able to receive notifications about more of videos such as this one. Thank you so much.